the Psychic Sleuth, so I wanted to do a quick update on Quentin because I've been getting stuff the last couple of days, and I feel he's really going to be found. Again, um, if you want to go back to my first reading, we're actually going to be cutting some stuff out and just make it so that here's the reading, here's the location kind of thing. Um, so there's a few things that I did find out. I just wanted to make a quick validation video real quick. First, I'm going to give you the new visions I've been getting. So I keep seeing... And hearing news outside of the landfill, you know how like news anchors, they have that specific voice. I keep hearing that. That was a couple days ago. Um, I kept getting reference to yellow and like the rain raincoat kind of material. After I got that, I found out that they do have yellow raincoat material boots. Um, and so I feel that that's Quentin's way of saying that they are close, that maybe his physical body can see those boots and that color. Um, another thing that I was getting is, um, so, you know, what they're doing, I do feel he's at the landfill and I'll tell you why in just a second. There was another thing that I was getting though that I need to bring up. Sorry, I already mentioned it with his little hand. So those three things kind of tell me he's going to be found. I feel it's going to be soon. I know I've been kind of saying that. But maybe they're giving me different, like, time frames to say, you know, um, past this date. Because the 17th, they did get all of the equipment and stuff. The 17th has multiple meanings, or the 17. Um, one is it's the road you can take to get there. Two, there's the 17 minute late to work via the boyfriend. Um, and also, again, the 17th, they kind of was the day before they started searching everything. So when I get a date, it can be like before or after. So the 21st, maybe they were saying after. I really don't know why I got that date. Um, and again, timelines shift. So it just depends on a lot of different things, right? But I feel like it's going to be soon. I got this kind of like anxiety thing. Um, and so I'm going to be showing you guys a clip where I actually got the name Quentin and a landfill. I was hearing bottles. And I remember I was hearing this during Stephanie Parze. And I was very confused because... I kept getting the side of the road for her, so it kind of didn't make sense, but I kept getting a landfill feeling. Um, I saw trash, and I was hearing bottles, like when you dump, they dump bottles at the landfill, like how that sounds. I kept hearing that, so I'm going to play a clip for you right here. Numbers, Q and O. Um, I don't know. I hear something like Quentin or Quentin. I've heard that before. I don't know if it fits here. Um, it might have been Trenton, but I heard Quentin, and I've gotten Trenton before, but I don't know if this pertains to her, but I've been getting those darn bottles a lot. I hear bottles, which is really weird. And I don't know, I have to say it because it will repeat if I don't. I'm not sure if it fits here at all, but I'm seeing trash and I don't, I, I'm not sure, but I've gotten it a lot. So it fits someone. Um, she shows me a heart with it. I would have noticed that before today. It would have been very validating to me because, um, this was three years ago that I got that in Stephanie. And that just shows how my gift of foresight kind of works and the timing of things. Like, because it was around the same time, right? Stephanie went missing in October too, but she was at the end of October. She was found in November. Um, so I feel like, like I said, it feels like they're getting close. Um, this is a very tedious job. Just because they haven't found him there doesn't mean he's not there. I feel strongly he is because that's right where I was pulled to. I was pulled where he was dumped and right next to the landfill at the Southwest Church. Like, that's where I was pulled to. If you go back, it's a three-hour long live. I know it's long, but that's why I tell you guys when I do location and mapping, sometimes I second guess, and I, I, I end up going back and forth, back and forth, to try to make sure that's what I'm feeling. But I didn't really go anywhere else that time. It was just, sometimes it works like that. Um, so if you go back to that, the first and second reading are important. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention. So they did find a duck hunter found a body in the marsh in Indiana. I find it funny, not funny, but interesting um, in the way that my interconnects work. Because at the end of Quentin's second reading, I got duck hunters and I literally saw the duck hunting game. So I was getting the orange vest and somebody with a rifle and the hats that they wear, kind of like the duck hunting. I was getting a marsh and I was getting um, birds and kind of conservatory area, preserve. So keep in mind that interconnects, they come in because they're similar areas. 
So the similarities of the areas is that, um, you know, around Quentin is through woods and then you hit marsh like I was describing across from the church and across from the landfill. But also, um, so that's where the interconnects come in is due to the timing and due to sometimes the location being similar. So Quentin's area is surrounded by a marsh and the perimeter that I got is a marsh, but also I did get that area where they just found remains in Indiana. What's weird about that too is it's Indiana and Merced 4 was found off of Indiana Road. So just another kind of way that I work to try to describe and explain to you guys. No telling what else interconnects I have that are hitting right now, but um, I just wanted to make this video to try to explain everything. Um, show you a real quick news clip of the body that they found in the marsh from Fox 59. Called 911 after finding what appeared to be bones sticking out from underneath a piece of clothing. Officials say the remains are human, but the identity is still unknown. They're under investigation now.